Did you know if you separate the translate timeline in Spine and try to move a bone along just one axis, you might notice that it creates keys on both axes. Why does it happen? Translate X and Y keys are always in parent space. Even when you choose world or local axis, you're only viewing translation differently. Spine still records everything in parent space. So, when you move a bone using world or local axis, you're often changing both X and Y in parent space, which is why Spine Auto keys both. To make sure you key only one axis, set the parent space first. Now, if I move the bone while locking to a single axis, Spine will create a key only for that axis. Now let's change the setup. I'm gonna reset rotation of the parent bone, set it to zero, so it aligns with the world space. Now, if I find the child bone, even though it has a rotation, if I move any of its axis in world space, it will just create a single key correspondingly. Because world and parent spaces are aligned and the values match exactly. If I change the rotation back, select the child bone and try to move in world space, it will create two keys. Because now parent is rotated.